Hello everybody. Good afternoon. It's 1.51 p.m. here in Iowa. Got a few notes here, but I don't think I'll need to read them. I can just say them. Um, it's just terrible about crime. Yeah. And I've also got an article that I'm checking on right now uh, to uh, help the people in their homes protect themselves. If someone is breaking into your home and you are legalized to carry a weapon, there's still rules you got to follow. Even though your house is being broken and the guy might have a gun or a knife and he just starts shooting, threatening, whatever, and you, you're trying to protect you and your family, but you got to be careful. Because you might be the one ending up in prison, not him. Now, come on now. Something ain't right with laws. I think the laws, really, from beyond early, early years, should have been changed to protect the victims, not the criminals. Now, don't that just floor you? You can't go out on a picnic with your family. You might get mowed down by an outrageous car speeding right through the people, killing them. Hurting you. Aiming you. Right at you. Just aiming right at you. You can't do that. You, can, you can't even go to church anymore. You're not safe going in the house of the Lord. You can't walk out of the doctor's office, the dentist office, Walmart, Kmart, grocery stores. You're not safe. How many times have I seen a video of a poor woman getting hijacked in a grocery store parking lot in the daylight? I mean, good gravy. Now, we know there's always been crime since the beginning of time. Laws were made. What happened to those laws to protect the victims, not the prisoners, not the assailants? that is causing the crime, the injury, the death. Well, so far, it's just, you know, makes you just stop and just think. It's, they sit in a cell in prison. They got a TV, they got a computer, Probably their phones. I don't know if they're allowed cell phones, but I wouldn't doubt it. And the judge says, well, you know, you should get life. But I'm only going to sentence you to maybe 20 years. And for good behavior, you can be out in 10. Yeah, if you just promise not to kill anybody else, rob anybody else, stab anybody else, kidnap anybody else. Sexual assault, don't do that. That's not, you shouldn't do that. Slap on the wrist. Spends his 10 years, he's out in the street. Then what do we all have to look forward to? Especially if we're in the town where he went to and who knows what town he picked. I don't know. If I was a prisoner or a criminal, I wouldn't go back to the same town that I got caught in. I'd pick another town, maybe a mm, bigger town, medium town, smaller town. They won't know who I am. Oh, well, I got to report to my, well, I'll pick a town that's close by where I live then, and I'll go back for my uh, parole, yeah, update, yeah, yeah, I, I'll do that. I'll just sneak around. I won't live in the same town, but I'll be sure I go back for my parole update to my parole officer. They'll never know till after I do what I'm going to do and get it over with. Why are they letting them out on the streets? When they've done any kind of criminal act other than maybe shoplifting, or petty, petty larceny. You know, stealing a tire or, 
or um, I don't know, stealing a monkey wrench from work or some little thing like that, you know. But these people that walk the streets that are hideous killers, they're out to hurt you and they're gonna, if not kill you. Your family members, burn down your home. I mean, what are we supposed to do anymore? What's wrong with these damn laws? Well, oh, Biden, forget that part right now. Let's go to Biden again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, something about um, <clears throat> he was caught um, dancing to the song by, uh, who was it, Johnny Taylor? I think it's, I think it was Johnny Taylor. And he had done this before, I guess. Um, celebrating that he's done such a great job. So why are we getting ready for the biggest inflation we've ever seen? I mean, good gravy. The stock market was down yesterday four points and something. Today, it's still down three points and something. Groceries have got eggs are up 40% now. Fuel and oil, 70%. And it's going to get higher. Yes. Electricity is going up. I don't know what percentage that is right now. But it's going up. It's just... It's just, uncon everything is uncontrollable. Everything is uncontrollable. And Biden has the nerve to just think he's the greatest president. What's the matter with that man? <laughs> oh, I don't even want to talk about him no more. Oh, let's see. Uh, I've got more things coming up. I'm working on something else uh, for this evening's video, if I can keep my head straight here. Uh, the police are leaving. A lot of uh, policemen are, are walking out on job. They're quitting. They can't handle the crime. They can't do it. Their families have been threatened, let alone them been threatened. A lot of them been killed. Lord have mercy. My goodness. It's, it's just unreal. Just unreal. And are things going to get worse? Yes. I hate to tell you that. It's all over the newscasts. All the news stations. So, we don't have much to look forward to. Why did they vote for Biden? Can those people, was it the richest ones that don't have to worry about money? A house to live in, food to eat, of course we get plenty of EBTs, the elderly do, oh yes, the elderly do, pacifying us, and we get a monthly check, or checks, so we don't need no more help, we've got plenty of, plenty of checks, we've got plenty of food, we don't need any more help, mm -mm. And I know that's the way they're thinking. Because everybody else is getting help. And Iowa has done nothing. Where I live. I'm so disappointed in Iowa. Programs are out there galore. You have to apply for them. I'm 79 years old. The government has all my information. Why do I have to apply for anything? I won't do it. And they're just sitting back. These Some of these cities are just sitting back waiting for the government to help us. So they don't have to spend 
that billion, billion dollars they got from the government to help their people out, their citizens, their towns, their cities. Now, what do you think of that? <laughs> well, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I'm going to work on my other articles I'm getting ready for later. I uh, got the ink from my printer. I don't know if I said this on the last video or whatever, but my printer won't take it. Same number. And it's black. And I also have room for the colored if I wanted color. But I can't afford the color anymore. That's outrageous. I'm lucky I found my black ink. But every time I put it in my printer, my printer says it needs a refill. It's a brand new deal. I just got it from Amazon yesterday. I worked on it last night. My printer won't print. There's nothing wrong with my printer. I have used it for years on my old HP. Now this is a all-in-one HP I'm on now. And I haven't had this a year yet. But I'm finding out that I can't do a lot of stuff with this HP all in one, and I'm not sure why. But I put the ink cartilage, cartilage, <coughs> cartilage in cartilage, oh cartridge, in my printer, and it just won't print. No, nope. says I put it in wrong. You know how many times last night? <laughs> Shoved it in and shoved it out and shoved it in, shoved it out. <laughs> and it still wouldn't work. Printer works. There's nothing wrong with my printer. I've printed hundreds of recipes off of it ever since I've had it. Until I got this new computer. So, maybe the cart, cart, cartilage or cartridge, cartridge is empty. But it came from Amazon. <laughs> God love Amazon. I do all my shopping there. But uh, I'm sending it back. And we'll see what happens. But anyway. Until later. God bless. Stay safe. So long. <laughs>